What's up everyone? Zeph Films here and I'm here with another Eagle Moss unboxing video. Uh, this one is not sponsored by Eagle Moss. Uh, this one I purchased on my own. In this one we're going to be looking at the USS Beren, the, uh, the uh, Cardenas class starship, which actually was also just released to uh, Star Trek Online. So uh, the timing of this isn't coincidence. I actually planned this. I've had this ship for about three weeks waiting for that ship to come out and I figured I'd do a week centered around the USS brand. I will say that I do have three more uh, ships from Eagle Moss to be unboxed. Uh, there's one there, one over there, and one over there. Uh, so I will be doing those videos uh, shortly. So uh, I just want to say thank you in advance to Eagle Moss for providing me with those ships. I look forward to unboxing them. Uh, but yeah, let's jump into uh, this one. All right, so here we are with the uh, the packaging for um, from Eagle Moss, uh, the Star Trek Discovery, the official Starship collection, uh, USS Baran NCC 1422. Uh, the one thing I like about this is the manual, or not the manual, but the uh, the magazine is actually like inside the box this time. Uh, the couple that I've purchased, it's been like in a separate bag outside and it's been bent. So this one is in good condition. So class Cardenas launched 23rd century, length 441 meters. And then, yeah, so we see the same information in here. Uh, instructions on how to assemble the ship. And then herocollector.com slash stdiscovery at the bottom here. My lighting might be messing that up. There we go. All right, so USS Beren. This ship was commanded by Captain Lorca, who destroyed the vessel to stop his crew from being taken prisoner. Uh, so we know a little bit of this story. Uh, we're going to find out a little bit more in Star Trek Online with the Rise of Discovery that's coming up. Jason Isaacs, the actor who plays or Lorca, has, is doing voiceover work for the game, though I think he phoned it in, but... That's neither here nor there. The Cardenas class of Federation starship active in the 2250s was instantly recognizable by its unique quad warp nacelle design. Two of these nacelles jutted up above the secondary hull and two beneath it in a distinctive X formation. The two best known Cardenas class starships are the USS Baran and the USS Yeager. The USS Baran was commanded by Gabriel Lorca in 2256 prior to his command of the Discovery. Commander Alan Landry, who later became Chief Science Officer aboard the Discovery, served as First Officer. So here's some more pictures. We got the top profile and then side profile front and back. Um, I have some more of these shots in the Fresh Out of Space Dock video that I'll have linked. Uh, but there's some information here about un Mirror Universe. Uh, the Yeager was uh, uh, destroyed at the Battle of the Binary Stars. Actually, that's where Ash Taylor... Okay, so let's let's actually read. Before the Klingons obliterated the Yeager, they took prisoners, including Lieutenant Ash Tyler. During his incarceration, Tyler endured terrible tortures before his memories and DNA were transferred onto the Klingon torchbearer Volk. So, and then designing the Cardenas class. So we have up here, up top here, uh, this rejected design for the Shenzhou laid the groundwork for the look, look of the Cardenas class. That's really interesting. So this was this was their pitch for the Shenzhou. Not bad. Me personally, I kind of like this over the uh, the Shenzhou, the Walker class. But hey, um, the name Yeager originally attached to a completely different design. Oh wow. Okay. I guess that's. Oh, the, the Bell class starship. And then the USS Stewart Hitchcock class. Shortly after producing the four nacelle version of the Shenzhou, Eves came up with some designs for four nacelle ships that would be seen in the background. This one labeled the USS Stewart is the closest to the ship that the VFX team built. Interesting. And then Eves. John Eves, by the way, <laughs> uh, produced a drawing for another four nacelle ship that was also sent to the VFX teams. Elements of this design also made their way into the model that the VFX sent back to the art department. I, I always like the concept art. There's obviously more information. I'm not going to sit here and read through it all. This is the crude model that Eves got back from the VFX team. He then finished it off by painting de detail over the top. 
At this point, Eve's completed design was still named the USS Stewart, and he suggested it belong to the Liberator class. The Stewart became the USS Yeager, named after Chuck Yeager, the first pilot to have broken the sound barrier. The color separation of the Cardenas class came from earlier designs of the USS Curry. Oh, which is Shepard class. Interesting. Which, by the way, Shepard class, Eagle Moss video coming soon. <laughs> Thank you, Eagle Moss. Uh, the ISS Baran, under the command of Captain Gabriel Lorca, made a brief appearance in the Mirror Universe. Nice. Coming soon. So, obviously, this ship has been out for a while. Uh, you've probably seen unboxing videos for this ship. Uh, but what Eagle Moss so generously sent me, uh, they sent me Shepard, uh, the McGee, and the Cleave. So I'll have videos coming out for those three ships uh in the very near future. Uh, but let's take a look inside. Because I know this is the part that you really want to see. So packaging is done well. So we have our stand. Stand. And ship mounted on stand. So uh, yeah, this I, uh, I was up close and personal with the uh, with this model ship in Star Trek Online doing the the uh, cinematic video and the details are spot on like it should be it's a officially uh, licensed star trek product uh but yeah it's just it's so it's just a really nice ship uh the hull is metal like the rest of the ships or the saucer i should say um the nacelles and the struts are plastic so if you do get this i would be careful uh in handling but all in all really nice design uh, let's put it on our makeshift spinneroo thing and uh, see if we can get some better angles. All right, so that's that's the best I can do for the spinning. I still haven't gotten a proper turntable. I'm still using my makeshift cup holder, uh, pen holder with string. Overall, I, I really do enjoy the design of the ship. There isn't anything really on here that I don't like. Um, sometimes with four nacelle ships, especially like the old ones, like the Stargazer, and I might get some hate for this, but the nacelles just look kind of off, like just way too blocky. But on this one, they they stick out, but they're sleek at the same time. So the profile of the ship is just amazing. Um, another thing that I enjoy... Let's see if I can do this without breaking things. So another thing that I do enjoy uh, about this design is the, uh, the bridge. Um, it's not your traditional bridge where it's like up at the top of um, the saucer section. Uh, it's out front here, if I remember correctly, and I kind of like that. It kind of breaks the symmetry of traditional Federation design. So that's that's the one thing I like. I, I like things kind of getting a little bit, uh, how do I put it, shaken up a little bit, I guess you could say. So that's probably why like a lot of the Federation designs that we've seen from the TV shows, with the exception of like the Defiant and uh, and. Um, the Intrepid, they're all just round saucers. Uh, not to say that there's anything wrong with that, but I like a little variety. So I like how it's being broken up here at the top Ooh, and a little on the bottom. This is how things break. Don't break anything. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's it for the up-close view. Yeah, let's put this back on the stand without breaking. So that's the USS Baran uh, Eagle Moss model. Uh, at a closer look, I, I really do love the design of this ship. It's, uh, I've said in the visual review videos for the Baran class that came out and the uh, Cardenas class, I'm a huge fan of four nacelled ships. So this, this design is just like, I just, I love it. Um, I love the front end of it. It's just, it's a unique design. Um, I I really don't know what else to really say about it. It just I I overall like it. Um, the quality is is standard. Like it's a nice size. Like two hands. Like it's a good sized ship. Um, 
just always seems like the the saucer is always like a metal and then the uh the nacelles and the struts are plastic but thankfully nothing broken on this one <laughs> so uh yeah thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next unboxing video which will be coming soon thanks bye